Hey, this is Michael Just Crack Coffee. I'm here today in California. We've been traveling for the past week. Uh, I brought along my espresso, a flare espresso kit, and I'm here to show you guys how to make espresso on your travels. So let's get started. All right, so here's the flare espresso uh, travel case. And this houses everything you see here. So the first part right here is the, um, the post or the lever bottom here which basically connects to is the base the drip tray and the brew head it basically comes in two parts here primarily well three parts if you consider the screen here so this is the uh, brew head right here that basically sits on top of this uh, where the screen right here goes on top of the tamped coffee make sure you guys put it this side up the um, the thinner or the smaller holes and the larger holes on the bottom facing down and basically just sits on top of here like that and then you pour water in here and then it comes with the pressure gauge that basically goes into this little hole right here and then this part right here this little soft part is where it gets pressed down by this part right here when you kind of lever down like this okay um, and we have the tamper comes with a dosage funnel and a dosage cup All right and the next thing here that we brought along is my uh, manual grinder it's the flare espresso royal grinder uh, so the top part the top piece right here uh, comes off easily just unscrew it up here and just take it off and basically just kind of uh, you can store it in here uh, along with this and basically roll it up. It's pretty easy, really light, and doable. One thing I would like to notice here is for the folks that are getting into espresso, is the uh, the the grind size, right? So it does three uh, setting spins. So one full spin is one setting, second one is a second setting, and third one is a third setting. Uh, each of them has different levels depending on what your needs are. The very first setting. Uh, up to from zero all the way to the next zero is espresso. So right now, currently for my uh, Hunapu Guatemalan, I set mine around 11 on the first setting. And I'll show you guys a little bit more in depth uh, detail with my review later down the road. All right, so to make this work, you need a, a water heater or a coffee maker in your hotel room. It, call, it comes in different shapes and sizes, but the primary common thing that it comes with is a reservoir in the back. You see right here, you pour your water in, and a button here basically will start the brew. Uh, for me, I brought my little cappuccino cup um, on my travel. Your hotel room may come with this, a little coffee cup like this. You don't need to bring your, any cups or similar. Hopefully, um, the hotel rooms will have this available for you. Just call the concierge, she'll bring it up. Or you can put in your little milk jug right here, like that. So, uh, I tend to uh, preheat my coffee cup first, and then pour it back in, and then pour into my little jug here. And then basically what I'm gonna do is that then I would basically pour into the group head to start my brew trip i brought in my freshly roasted medium roast hunapu and medium roast terrazzo costa rican uh, i've been kind of going around and trying both of these coffee here and there and it's they're both really good i love it uh, on on days when i just want an americano i tend to go with the hunapu really sweet balanced fruity and uh, terrazzo, uh, terrazzo, Costa Rican, for me, it tends to be a little bit more fruitier, um, which is also good for Americanos too. Uh, I have yet done um, a latte or cappuccino uh, here specifically in the hotel rooms. I did actually bring it to my uh, family's house uh, one time and try to do the uh, frothing with that, but I need more practice. So um, I'm gonna actually take that back home and practice a little bit more and give you guys a more in-depth room. Um, review on the frother but yeah uh, for today we're gonna do the hanapu for americano let's do it all right so i have my little uh little scale here i brought my travel scale and a little dosage cup right here i'm gonna use about 16 grams for my brew uh, again we're using our hanapu Okay. 
16.7. Oh well, that's fine. It takes about between 16, point, 16 grams to about 18, 20 grams in the group head. So it should be good. All right. All right, so we got our coffee in our um, dosage cup. We're we'll pouring in here. And we're ready to grind. Start grinding now. It's about uh, 45 seconds to fully grind all this. Again, we're on the first setting of on the dial of 11. Again, there's three settings uh, for this uh, manual grinder. The first setting is always for espresso, second for medium course, and third setting for like uh, French press, uh, <clears throat> pour over and such. Uh, this Flare Espresso uh, Royal Grinder is about um, all about fine grind. It uses a burr grinder in the middle um, and it does give you a really good smooth and powdery espresso coffee beans. Alright. Look at that. Alright, so here's our little group head right here. Put the dosage funnel like this, and uh, freshly grounded coffee beans here. And just kind of throw it right in there. Alright, empty. I will highly suggest kind of give a little couple of taps. Like that. And what I usually do just to avoid spill, kind of put the tamper right on top like that. Just kind of give an initial like that. And as always, Tap it straight down. I'm still practicing, so it might just be a little tilted, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Give it another tap. There you go. Okay. All right. So now we're going to fill, we're going to start heating up our water up. I'll fill the reservoir up. Choose any water from the grocery store. Doesn't matter. Use tap water if you want. And it should work. So just hit that. You see a light. And we'll let that uh, heat up. So while the water is heating up, uh, very first thing is that you want to put the screen onto, onto this guy right here. Make sure that the fine holes are facing up. Okay? That's really important because you don't want this facing down. Uh, and the water was just going to seep right through. This actually is just to prevent and, uh, and basically help you uh, create the pressure you need in your chamber. So again, face up, place it right in. There you go. Now your group head is ready. So the water's still heating. Next thing I want to assemble the group head is place this guy right here, uh, where basically this is going to sit on top of this guy. As you see, like this, it fits right in and seals it in. So now you have your group head ready. You're gonna pour the hot water in here when it's ready, and then uh, finish to fill up all, until you actually see it barely uh, peaking the, um, the hole right here. And that's, that's a good part right here, because you don't want it to be overfilled, because this thing actually, this pressure gauge will sit on top of this, and uh, it's actually gonna cause some overfill. So just, just fill it just barely where you could see it, okay? Alright, so I'm going to pour the hot water into the chamber here. Oop, I'll clean that up. Again, you don't want to fill it too much. Can I see it peeking right there? Perfect. So that's where we want to stop it. I'm going to give this a little quick wipe. There you go. And put the pressure gauge on here. Not too hard, just enough. There you go. And then we're going to place this onto here. Make sure the pressure gauge is facing where you can see, just in case. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull the shot now. So we want to be in this little area right here, about uh, about eight to ten, uh, eight to ten bars. I'm going to try to be right in the middle of it. So you can actually see the shot being pulled right now. All right, 
and that's that's what I shot. So we finished pulling our shot, as you see here, and we're gonna actually start pouring it into uh, our little hot water right here and making an Americano. There's our Americano. So we just made our Americano and we're just gonna do a quick taste test. It smells really sweet and fruity like usual. I love the Guatemalans. Mmm, really sweet, really strong actually. Um, I think I might need to dial the grind a little bit coarser. Um, the shot was a little bit slow, but I think this is actually will do. But yeah, so again, this is Michael Just Crack Coffee, and this is how we make our travel espresso. Cheers, until we meet again. Hey everyone again. So we've been back for a while, and I just finally have time to wrap up this video. So I really hope you all enjoyed that quick tutorial video on how to use your Flare Espresso on your travels. I was personally impressed by the quality of coffee and espresso I was able to extract out of the machine, especially at the comfort of my own hotel room and at my friends and family houses when we visited them. They were also impressed by the quality too. So before I end the video, I do want to quickly talk about the pros and cons of my experience with using the Flare Express on my travel. So the pros are, it's fairly light and easy to use. You can pretty much set this up anywhere. Additionally, you can use any type of espresso beans that you can find locally. Or you can make a purchase at justcrackcoffee.com slash store for our beans for your travels. I'll put the link in the description below. Additionally, it's easy to clean and the grind size is easily achievable for the quality espresso you're looking for. I would recommend probably start around the 6 to 11 setting of the first dial and I'll go into more in-depth review on the next video in the future. So on the other hand, the cons. So the biggest thing I can think of right now is the luggage space needed. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, everything fit in a backpack for me in this case. Like the Flare Espresso bag, um, the manual grinder, the two coffee bean bags, the froth wand, the milk jug to heat the milk and froth in, a cup, a scale, and a thermometer. So let's quickly talk about the cappuccino latte. It's gonna be hard to make actually. Again, you're gonna to need to heat that milk to 145 degrees. Um, you can, I would not recommend using milk, uh, microwave for sure. It has to be like a stove or some sort of heating element that you can uh, just set on top and heat it to 145 degrees. Uh, additionally, you're gonna need a refrigerator for that milk too. And sometimes not all hotels are gonna have a refrigerator. Uh, the other thing is the frothing of the milk, right? The milk frothing wand is hard to use, for me at least, right? It's going to take some use to, um, and I'm still practicing. So you're going to expect to mess up a little bit on your first couple tries here and there, right? And the very last thing, and the most important thing, is obviously the water heating device. In our case, on our travel, we use the hotel's coffee maker. A lot of the hotels have the coffee maker available to you to use. Uh, so if you don't have access to one, then you're gonna need to figure out some way to heat it. So thank you for watching. I will have a more in-depth review of the Flare Espresso in a future video coming to you soon. So please hit the like and subscribe button below to stay tuned for that and for more content like this. I would like to end this video with a small B-roll sequence of the Flare Espresso. So other than that, everyone, you all have an awesome day. Bye.